Hello YouTube fans, it's Pastor Center again, your blue collar preacher. Just want to show you my break here that I just built. I know I've been telling you I need to build my oven, but I need this to help build my oven. As you can see in the back there, I got my blasting cabinet all done. I got my gloves work finally. Just have to buy a, a better uh, gun for it. I'm going to buy a scat blast made in America. And get but I want to show you my break that I made today. Hope you uh, get some good ideas. Maybe you can improve on it. I uh, robbed a lot of ideas from YouTubers already to help build it. But uh, anyways, I hope you like it. Here's the bottom side of our bender. Uh, I put some bolts right here on both sides to clamp to a, my movable bench here. Here's the clamps that bolt on to the bottom. It's just simply on there like this. And hold it to the tabletop here. This thing weighs about a hundred pounds, so it's pretty pretty heavy, but we want it heavy duty. I'm gonna put my last clamp on here just to show you how I bolt it to the top of the, the bench here. And it just takes a wrench. Tighten down. All my bolts are the same size. They're all five inch bolts. Just using the crescent wrench, but uh, anyways, now you can see how I fasten that thing down. Uh, I'm gonna raise the camera up here so I can give you some detail. Now, I got some of these uh, ideas off of other YouTubers, and I I liked a lot of their ideas, but uh, I noticed that some of them have their angle aimed the other way, like this. And then they put a, a truss underneath and this and that. It's better, I think, if you have your angle going this direction. And then you also need to put your pin, or your hinge, so to say, uh, tight to the head so you can get a fine line right here. You want this tight against your, your clamp. And then uh, basically, I'm going to bend that up. But uh, anyways, I got some springs to help raise this thing up. I just loosen it up right here and uh, it actually it'll pop up once I loosen the other side but uh, anyways that helps helps it there. Also I, I put pipes in the front and the bottom. I'm getting kind of old don't want to bend over a lot. So I can actually choose either way uh, to go here. And uh, I'll just go tighten up this, I mean loosen up this other clamp so you can see uh, how it springs actually help it uh, raise it up there. There you go. Uh, now this truss see a lot of guys also when they put their trusses in they got everything welded in but uh, I put a bolt here too uh, so you can tighten it down in the middle as well not just on the end but also here in the middle I just left a little bit of play there and then once I tighten this down on both ends not here soon but uh, anyways I just used bed frame again I uh, remember I recycle a lot of stuff but that top truss is just angle iron bed frame this bottom piece is a piece I scavenged from somewhere this is also scavenged from somewhere uh, my plate this is actually my back plate here's just a piece of six inch half inch thick uh, plate now I made mine 50 inches wide I needed this thing to 
so I can start working on my powder coating oven. That's my next project. I keep saying I gotta build that and I gotta build that, but uh, I keep finding out I need more tools. So I, I made mine 50 inches from here to here so I can get a four foot sheet in there and have some room to wiggle it around and uh, be able to bend it up. I'm just gonna go out and grab a piece of something and, and clamp it in there and show you how it works. It took me a minute to find some scrap I was willing to sacrifice. This, this thing, I got paint also from a yard sale or something. But uh, this paint is just uh, case yellow. I got it at an auction. But I uh, need to tighten down both ends. I'm just snugging them up right now. So I get it all down there. Get this tight. Tighten the other side. Tighten down the middle. does is it's trust. When I tighten this down I got my bolt so it pushes down, pushes up on the truss but pushes down on this piece of angle. This truss ain't going nowhere as it's welded on both ends so you saw it. But uh, anyways it makes it good and tight right there. Like I said, I like having these here because I'm old. I'm just going to sink that in there. That baby up. There you have it. Let me see that little one up first. Kind of a bull-nosed edge, but uh, this is, let's see, this is uh, 14 gauge, but anyways, it's a bull-nosed edge. I prefer bull nose anyways because I have grandkids and don't need sharp corners, but uh, actually I did a pretty good job. I needed this thing to build my, to start working on my oven. I like having it. I see a lot of guys drill holes down through the top here, but I find it better it works out this way. And also remember your truss. You want to be able to push that down. Hope you like it.